Hello my friends, I am returning to TikTok to share videos again. Um, this one I am going to download and share on my YouTube. I'm still doing tarot, I just stopped doing it on TikTok um, because I got into doing really long readings and on TikTok people want the short little readings. So I'm now branching back onto TikTok to try and connect with um, my beautiful people over on YouTube and whoever else wants to join us. So I just finished doing a reading for my YouTube channel where I was channeling divine counterpart energy and I did receive a comment um, saying, you know, you channel a lot of the divine feminine side of things, what about the divine masculines? And I'm not talking about gender. And it is true that people are starting to awaken to soul connections and, you know, people who once weren't into spirituality are now starting to watch tarot readings about connections. Um, so I actually wanted to come on and do a reading, I'm going to try, um, channeling the Divine Masculines and see if you guys need some, no, I don't mean guys like that, but just see if the people who resonate with divine counterparts um, need some advice. And if you are someone who's running from a counterpart connection, you are the masculine one. So if you are even a feminine who is, you know, saying they don't believe in the twin flame journey or they don't want to choose it, um, technically you are the one in the masculine energy because you are the runner, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, so this is actually how I film my face readings on YouTube. So I thought, why don't I just post them on YouTube? Anyway, I'm gonna, or TikTok. I'm going to get more active here. That's my point. <laughs> and I'll do shorter readings too. Maybe I'll do like single cards, teach you guys how to read the cards. Anyway, um, we're supposed to be channeling mass the divine masculine energy. So I picked a few decks and I picked this one and right away Twin Flames is on the bottom, which is hilarious to me. I was not planning that. Um, mirrored, mirroring shared feelings reflection. So my masculine counterpart, you could be reflecting about this. Um, you could have pushed a connection away that was really good. Um, you could have, this person, you could have been very triggered by them. Um, they could have brought out, you know, some of your shadow aspects and you may have reacted to that. I do see that right now you're thinking about this connection and what it means um, and why are you in it. And that can be very confusing for the masculine. So my heart goes out to you. Um, it's very common that masculines run from this. They run from the healing part of it. So I definitely see that you're thinking about your counterpart or your divine feminine and missing them. Um, perhaps you've just realized that you do see commitment with them, but perhaps there was an ending long ago or a tower moment. Perhaps you were afraid of commitment. Um, this is going to be a different type of reading, 333 on the timer, um, because I've never, I've never channeled masculine energy like this so you know it's you don't have to feel bad for that fear of commitment we all need to grow and stabilize ourselves so that we can feel like we can commit to someone and if you know you were afraid of commitment with this person that's completely normal for the twin flame dynamic um anyway if you're someone who you know can't stop thinking about your person you can't let them go you kind of compare everyone to them, there's a reason. It's because you have a spiritual connection together. Um, anyway, we'll put those cards back and we'll do a shuffle. Maybe you feel low-key obsessed with this person, you know? So let's see how you're doing. Running? Oh dear, oh dear, my friends. <laughs> So we have running. So this could be a connection that you're running from. And you know, maybe you ghosted this person. It's hard when you ghost someone. Wally agrees. It's hard when you ghost someone 
to then go back to them, especially if you're a masculine, you know, not talking about gender, if you have that ego, if you have that pride. Um, it's okay to, you know, return and apologize. It doesn't make you less of a person. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Like I said, I've never felt called to do this, but I feel really called to do it. And Wally has the zoomies. Runner. <laughs> Wally's running all over my room right now. It's okay if you're in runner energy. It just means that you have some healing to do. Now we have broken. So you could be feeling very broken right now without this person. Perhaps you thought, you know, you could easily get over them and you can't. Perhaps you can't stop thinking about them. For some of you, I just heard maybe they're not forgiving you. Like maybe you have asked for forgiveness, but they have that boundary up now. So let's get into it. Let's see what's happening here with you. So first we're going to tap into how you're feeling about this connection or what you're currently experiencing when it comes to this connection. My divine masculines, divine feminine. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. You are realizing that this is your person. You're realizing that this is your person, that this is your divine feminine. You could be actually tapping into your feminine energy right now, opening to this, feeling more compassionate, more loving towards this person. Perhaps a ball on your side is coming down. Um, but you definitely feel a connection here, a very strong connection with whoever it is that you're with. We do have soulmates. So right now you're very much reflecting on why am I connected to this person? Why do I feel this way? Why can't I... Why can't I let them go? Um, for some of you, you could have been unfaithful to this person, and maybe that's why, you know, you're hesitant to go back in. Um, we do have bluff. We have pretending mask. So you could have denied this connection. You could have, you know, with this bluff card, perhaps you... Perhaps you were dishonest with your counterpart, or perhaps, you know, you didn't want to, you didn't want to give in to this energy. Um, anyway, you could have worn a mask is what I'm saying with this person. I also feel right now you're hiding your true feelings from them with this bluff card. That you're pretending that you don't think, that you're pretending or you're trying to maybe pretend that they're not your divine feminine, that, that, you know, that there's not something special here, but you can feel that there is, you know, perhaps this is the past energy where you were denying it and pushed them away and ran. Um, but you seem to have this awareness that you and this person are connected at a soul level now. Past life. Interesting. Let's get another one for you. You could have thought, <clears throat> okay, yeah, oh, so for some of you, when you met this person, this feminine, I feel like it was, you know, instant soul spark, lots of passion, and again, for a masculine, it can be confusing, because what happens is there's a lot of passion, there's soul spark, and then tower moments happen, triggers happen, fights happen. And typically the masculine is the one that runs from it. They think, oh, we're not compatible. I'm going to run from it. Um, and then through reflection, they realize they can't let go of this energy. So perhaps that's what you're going through right now. You definitely want a second chance with this person. It says reconciliation, making amends, opportunity. So you are someone that wants to reach out to your divine feminine here. Um, very interesting. Um, so you could have thought oftentimes there's a spark there with counterparts and then there's trigger moments and perhaps that's what kind of activated that runner energy. You could also have been someone who, you know, was quite independent and wasn't ready to settle down. And what happens is when you meet the divine feminine, all of a sudden you start thinking about settling down and that you need to stabilize your life. And oftentimes masculines their first energetic response is to run or push it away something must be wrong um you're not alone okay you're not alone and i'm not here to call you out either i'm here with peace and love 
All right, I'm gonna get, oh right, I was gonna talk about this. So we have depth here and there is an awareness here. So you're starting to realize, oh yeah, I do think about that person a lot. I do miss that person. You're realizing the depths of the feeling you felt, the feelings that you had for them. Um, I'm seeing King of Cups energy. So perhaps you were intimidated by how deeply you felt for this person because they are coming up divine feminine energy. So right away you're telling me <laughs> that no one else compares to them. And that you kind of, maybe you put them on a pedestal and you kind of compare everyone to them now. Um, you're really in your depths here, my friend, is what I'm seeing. And we have sorrow. So there is a sense of loss here with you. So let's see how your Divine Feminine is feeling. <clears throat> Let's see how your Divine Feminine is currently feeling. <sighs> you guys are mirroring. What came out for you? Runner, missing you. What's coming out for your person? Chasing, missing you. Same cards. Well, not the same, but you know what I mean. Same card, not this one. <laughs> So right now your Divine Feminine looks like they are done chasing this. Um, they could have tried to chase you for a while. They could have pursued you. Um, they could have, you know, tried to tell you, hey, here's how you're hurting me. Maybe you didn't want to see it. Um, I just, I feel this person is in their Divine Feminine energy and they're no longer chasing you. And perhaps that's what's causing you to have this awareness that they're no longer reaching out. They're no longer, you know, saying, I'm thinking about you. I miss you. Give me another chance or whatever they were saying to you. And you could be feeling, actually, this is the divine feminine. I feel like the divine feminine is done chasing. I just, I have a card that says, I don't want to chase anymore. And it's a dragonfly, I think. And that's what I'm feeling in your person's energy, which is why you're feeling a pull on them. Um, your feminine here is also thinking about you, and that's how mirroring works. You're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. You're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. And it just goes around in that infinity loop. It's never ending. Um, so if you, you know, are feeling bad about yourself and you're feeling like this person doesn't still think about you and won't forgive you that's not true here this is someone who still thinks about you day and night i'm hearing night and day <laughs> so we do have <clears throat> elusive so your person could have a lack of trust in you right now um you know there is this energy that they feel like you were dishonest and we do have the bluffing card on your side so it seems, you know, like perhaps you were dishonest about something or dishonest about how you felt about this person. Um, this person could feel deceived by you with that mask card. It reminds me of the magician. And the magician can sometimes 333 on the timer again. Um, the, what was I going to say? The magician can sometimes symbolize the feeling of being manipulated um so your person your feminine could have felt like you manipulated them your feminine is waiting for honesty and for you to come clean and to come out of the dark here so if you're afraid just know that your feminine knows this is coming or wants this to happen um longing longing for heat he, he, interesting, longing for each other. That was, I don't gender people, so that's interesting. Well, I said he. Anyway, um, let's get a couple more for your person's energy. How your person is doing, feeling, thinking, confusion. Rejected, oh dear, your feminine feels rejected. Abandoned, dismissed. So like I said, you could have pushed away and ran from this person, causing this person to feel rejected. And I just want to tell you, if you're beating yourself up right now for that, I just want to tell you, don't come after me, feminines, <laughs> that there's a lesson in that for them, okay? 
because if you look at it as that, whatever you did, you seem to be sorry. You seem to want to reconnect with this feminine, but perhaps, you know, you rejected them and you're afraid to approach them. And perhaps you're beating yourself up for rejecting this person. And I just want to say that this person feeling rejected is also going through growth because that's especially twin flames you've triggered that person's rejection wound and now they need to work on that we are the only ones who can heal our own wounds if you look at it like that there's a lesson here that your person is learning about rejection is what i'm hearing so we do have confusion here they feel confused um they could be you know really questioning this right now it says uncertain like uncertain about where this is going they just know they can't chase you anymore we also have releasing so they're trying to release this they're trying to let go of control they really are in divine feminine energy they're no longer chasing they're trying to release control they're trying to heal their own wounds right now and we have conflicted so yeah there's this back and forth energy in your person you know you could be someone who hasn't talked to this person in a long time and they could still feel your energy and that's this confusion because they're picking up on your energy. Um, anyway, if you're worried they're not still thinking about you, they are, they are. So I'm going to get into, I just... I actually, I don't know why, because I don't normally do it with these decks, but I kind of want to look at advice for you and just see what comes out, just to see, to see what you need to hear. Hoping, my friend, there's still hope, there's still hope. So we have exhaustion here. So if you're feeling, if you are a divine masculine, and you are going through tower moments in your life and you're going through like you're realizing some of your friendships fr friendships aren't that great or you're repeating patterns with people in your life or you're having conflict with people in your life tower moments car problems loss of money bad luck you know it's when people start saying why is the universe out to get me i feel like the universe is out to get me everything is so hard why is everything so hard the universe is trying to wake you up that's what it is the universe doesn't hate you the universe loves you and wants you to release these burdens um so you could be someone who's going through a lot of karma right now um we also have clouded judgment in reverse. So there is this energy of you. Some of the things you did or shadows that you had in this connection. Again, feminines don't come for me. But there's a lesson in all of it. You know, I don't want you to beat yourself up. This cloud of judgment sh in reverse shows me that you are in a really low vibrational energy. Like some of the decisions you made, some of the actions you took, I feel came from a place of ego. And, you know, realizing that is half the battle. So with it in reverse, I do feel like you're starting to see things clearly. Oops. We also have hope. So don't give up hope. I do feel like you have hope. That something will happen i will say my masculines if you are waiting for your feminine not talking about gender if you're waiting for your feminine to reach out for you i'm gonna tell you my if if it's you that's doing the lessons i'm gonna tell you a lot of feminines aren't chasing anymore a lot of feminines are finding their way on their path and growing into their power so if you are waiting for them to reach out to you or them to say hey i still think about you or hey just so you know if you ever want to apologize i would forgive you there's less of that happening now energetically with um with spiritual guidance like i was just saying there's more feminine stepping into their power and releasing control 
So if you are a runner who's waiting to be chased, <laughs> you might be waiting a while. Um, so I will say if you're someone who has, like these cards say, have been realizing where you went wrong, realizing your own shadows, um, and you have this feeling like you want to reach out to your feminine, if you're changed and you can offer growth, then, you know, go for it. Um, if you're intuitively urged to, you know, apologize, send that text, uh, make it meaningful, you know, reflect on it before you do it, make it, make it meaningful. Reflect on what you've learned from this, you know? Anyway, interesting. So we're going to look at tarot. And I'm actually going to use the deck that I used this morning when I was channeling Divine Feminine Energy. Oh my goodness. So we have Six of Pentacles on the bottom. So you could be a masculine who couldn't match your feminine's energy. Your feminine could have been available all the time, wanting to talk all the time. Don't come at me, feminines. I love you. I love you too, feminines. I love you all. <laughs> um, so you could be someone who struggled to match that energy because often what happens with feminines is when things become unbalanced or they start feeling anxious, they start overgiving. And the masculine can't possibly keep up with them the way that they are. And so sometimes masculines start to run or avoid. They think, oh my gosh, this person is so clingy. Or, oh my gosh, they're so needy. Or any of the things your ego is telling you. There is a balancing of energy happening between you and this person right now. So we do have to... Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. We have Temperance and Six of Pentacles showing me there was an imbalance in your energy with your counterpart. I truly feel like you weren't giving the same type of energy your counterpart was. Perhaps you have healing within to do. I'm seeing this could be an issue of giving and receiving love. So perhaps you know how to give love, but you don't know how to receive it. And once you started receiving it, you started like, whoa, slow down. Or you could struggle with giving love. You could struggle with giving someone your energy. Perhaps you've never, you know, had a long-term commitment. Perhaps you don't have parents that, you know, stayed together and had a healthy relationship. We have seven of swords on the bottom. That shows me that you ran, my friend. Now, let's talk about the seven of swords. Seven of swords could be that you deceived this person that you manipulated them, that you projected onto them, cheated on them, no judgment, um, or that you simply ran and ghosted, you know? So, let's get into it. 333 three, three again, oh my gosh, I, every, every video I looked, 333, three, three, I looked right at that thing, anyway. Um, hermit, you could be in reflection right now, you know, thinking about this, not being able to get this person off your mind. This is different than your everyday, ordinary kind of connection, okay? This is... I would love it if more masculines were waking up to this. There's a reason I wanted to do this. Because if we can get... If we can reach that masculine collective and help them through the lessons... That would be magic, in my opinion. We have the maestro. Is the maestro the magician? Possibly. Making things happen. I don't have the book right here. So. Interesting. I'm going to do one more shuffle. We have the page of cups. So, page of cups shows me that you, your intuition tells you to reach out to them. Your intuition tells them to apologize to them. Your intuition tells you there's something there. I'm just going to cut it like this, actually. We have the star. You can't let them go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We have the lovers. There it is. 
a love connection that you can't let go of. It's right here. You still think about this person. There's a reason you can't let go of that feminine energy. There's a reason. And I'm telling you right now, lovers and star, that's a love connection, divine love connection meant to heal you. And I think this person is your wish fulfillment deep down. Perhaps you have a lack of hope for this connection, my masculines, with the star and the lovers. Divinely guided love, okay? Star and lovers. Divinely guided. Again, if we could get this message out to the masculines, imagine how much healing would happen. Because with the feminine collective, the feminine collective have tapped in. They're learning how to work with energy and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Imagine if we could get to the masculines. No, I'm just kidding. Well, you are a masculine, maybe, I hope. Maybe you're your fem, maybe, maybe you're the feminine seeing what, I'm, what advice I'm giving your masculine. Hello, my friend. <laughs> All right, so my masculines, let's see how you're feeling about this soul connection. How are you feeling about this soul connection? <clears throat> Do you want to say something? <clears throat> okay, then. <gasps> you. I'm gonna... Oh, my goodness. Hang on, I need to go get the book. All right, so... The visionary is actually a bonus card and it's about an awakening. It's about enlightenment. It's about reflection. So right now you are someone who is reflecting about this connection and you're trying to figure out what it means. And you could be seeing signs and synchronicities because it's the universe trying to wake you up. We also have judgment and judgment shows another awakening energy. So this is a time where you're you're kind of reflecting inward about the decisions you're making. Um, this is the energy of you perhaps needing to take accountability for something here and offer this person some type of communication with judgment. Um, judgment can talk about a conversation. It can talk about renewal. Um, judgment is also very much when you're realizing things about yourself, things you need to change. Now, very interesting. I do have the page of swords and the page of wands, page of swords and the five of swords here. And the five of swords shows, first of all, in reverse, it shows that you want to make amends with your feminine. I see it here. You want to make amends with it in reverse. I want to talk to you about what it means in the upright. Five of Swords, you could have Five of Swords, this connection, which is self-sabotage. And it's when we mess up the good things in our life because of, you know, the way we were raised or because someone hurt us in the past. So, for example, if you were hurt in the past and you go into a connection with that wound, you're going to act based on that wound in that connection and sabotage that connection. Five of Swords energy is the energy of, you know, reacting from a hurt place, reacting from your ego. So you could have possibly done this. And perhaps you're, you don't know about this because Page of Swords in reverse shows me that maybe you don't yet realize how you sabotaged this connection. You know, maybe you're still awakening to that because you're definitely thinking deeply right now about how to resolve things with this person. And my advice to you is to look within instead of looking there and thinking, you know, your ego will, you know, tell you everything they're doing wrong. Um, you need to reflect with that judgment energy and take accountability for what you can take accountability for and to learn about yourself here. Um, I do see clashing perspectives about something between you and your person, Page of Swords. So difficulty communicating or not seeing eye to eye about something, perhaps commitment. Um, lots of arguments, possibly. Now, we do have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. 
So I feel like you haven't been able to move on from your feminine and your intuition is telling, your intuition is trying to tell you, it's an intuitive card, that you want to rekindle things. Whether you're listening to your intuition, I'm not sure. We're going to look into that because right now I'm going to see what your intuition is telling you about your divine feminine. And your intuition doesn't lie. Your intuition is the truth. So what does your intuition tell you about the divine feminine? Wally is going crazy for you guys. Your intuition. This is so interesting. Your intuition is... You aren't able to let this person go, four of coins. And to me, your intuition looks to be telling you it's for a reason that you can't let them go. We have the chariot. So your intuition is trying to push you towards that person. Your intuition is trying to put you on the path. Your intuition is trying to tell you to take action towards your feminine. Your intuition is trying to tell you to take more steps in the right direction and move towards them. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. So your intuition is telling you about your feminine, that it's long-term stability. That's where that fear of commitment and that running comes in. And I have to say, some of you don't even know you're afraid of commitment and why you're running. It happens subconsciously. Um, but anyway, there is this energy of refocusing, or sorry, your intuition is trying to refocus you because this is long-term potential. Um, there's a reason you can't let this person go. I almost said her. Oh my gosh. That's interesting. Well, let's see what your ego is telling you. Your ego is the one that's wrong, unfortunately. Let's see what your ego is telling you, my friend. Oh my gosh. That it's, I just heard done and dusted, that it's over. No more chances, I just heard. Queen of Wands, your ego, if you're with a karmic and you're not happy with that karmic, your ego could be telling you you're safe with that karmic, I just want to say. But anyway, your ego is telling you that your feminine has outgrown you. That's what your ego is telling you, that it's over. And I think that you want to rebirth here because I saw that second chances and the Queen of Wands is a very powerful energy. So your ego tells you that, oh no, that feminine's in their Queen of Wands. They're confident. They're glowing. They have attention. They probably are already dating someone. Your ego's trying to get in your head and tell you that your feminine is too powerful for you. That's not true. You can evolve and match that energy. <clears throat> Do you want to talk to them? Because my throat is closed over. Okay, let's see how you're feeling about your feminine right now. Think of your feminine. Think of your feminine. Ace of Wands. Oh, dear. <laughs> so sexual attraction, yes, <laughs> with the Ace of Wands. Um, but you feel like taking action towards them. The little thing inside you, the little... Your little intuitive voice, your heart is saying to make a move towards them. But your ego says, nope, that person's moved on. That person's, you know, maybe you're afraid you're, this person is too, this person will react in a really strong way negatively. Um, but you are feeling like taking action towards them. You're feeling energy there. You could be going through a spiritual awakening, my friend. We also have the High Priestess. So you have no idea what's going on with your person. How do you feel about your person? You feel an intuitive connection with them. You feel a mysterious energy towards them. For a lot of you, I feel like you don't know what's going on with them or if they want to hear from you, High Priestess. That's supposed to be here. You feel like they've moved on, Six of Swords. You feel like they've moved on, Six of Swords. And I think they just want you to come towards them, if I'm being honest. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Let's get one more for how you feel about this person. 
passion is there. The king of coins. I knew you wanted to commit to this person. <gasps> the emperor. Stop. I'm putting the emperor back in the deck, but holy poop. You feel, you feel commitment energy with this person. You feel like you want to protect them and nurture them and take action. But you could be lacking the confidence to do so, my friend. If you've been working and growing and taking accountability and can have a healthy conversation, I say go for it, my friend. King of, King of coins. You see long-term potential with this person. And like I said, when you met this person, they could have triggered your emperor energy. And it's not your fault. I don't think you knew it was happening. And you could have ran from this connection I'm seeing. I'm putting the emperor back in. Five of coins, you miss them. Oh my gosh, you miss them. You feel left out in the cold because look at them. Nine of coins, they're glowing. You could see them online right now, you know, talking to other people, I don't know. Um, but you miss them. There's fear of rejection here, five of coins. You have a fear that they'll reject you, especially with this nine, nine of coins. You're that, you've got that person on a pedestal. Okay. I'm actually gonna do something different now. I'm going to put all the cards back in and ask about your feminine in case any other cards want to repeat themselves. So let's do that. <clears throat> the Emperor. You do have the Emperor within you. You can do it. I believe in you. So, feminine energy. Let's shuffle it first, of course. Wheel of Fortune. I think this Divine Feminine knows that you're their destiny with that Wheel of Fortune. Three of Swords. This person, you're in separation. This person was hurt by you. It's okay. If you can heal that and take accountability and make it right. You can turn that hurt into a lesson. right now regarding this connection judgment so not only are you going through an awakening and realizing the depth of this connection so are they um, this is someone who is also experiencing I'm hearing a spiritual upgrade um, they're also reflecting about this I feel like they want to talk too with judgment that can be about a conversation where you both you know talk take accountability we have the Seven of Wands, so there's definitely blockages here. Seven of Wands. The feminine's boundaries are up here. Um, I have to say, I always hear, though, I'll fight for this. If you can respect those boundaries, if you can learn those lessons, I'll fight for this. But until then, the boundaries stay. Interesting. Let's see another card for your person's energy. Feminine's energy, six of swords. So they're moving forward. Eight of coins. Your person is very focused on work right now. Very focused on work. Very focused on perhaps um, some of their skill sets. They could be, you know, putting a lot of time into hobbies. I do see someone working, focusing on work right now. Six of swords does show an energy of them trying to move forward. We also have the chariot. So... Your intuition is telling you to go towards them because they're moving forward without you. It's because energetically they are. They're no longer, they're in feminine energy, you know, they're focused on themselves. They're focused on their healing. And they are trying to, you know, release the hurt here. They are trying to get on with their life. Like I said, no more chasing is what I was hearing. Um, that doesn't mean that they've forgotten about you. That just means that they're moving forward. Because that's the healthiest thing they can do. They don't... It's what they have to do. They need to survive. <clears throat> so let's tap into... 
how they feel about this situation. How do they feel about you? Or no. How do they feel about the connection first? How are they feeling about this connection? My divine feminines. How are they currently feeling about this connection? <sighs> we have the seven of wands, which I was just talking about. So definitely they have their boundaries up. They have their defenses up. For some of you, maybe they have you blocked. We do have the three of coins in the tower, which shows me this person would be willing to work on this tower if you respect those boundaries or if you have changed and healed. This person looks willing to work on this tower. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is them really focused on creating balance in their own life after this tower moment of view. This is someone who's, you know, in a moving forward energy. They're trying to... They're trying to put their own foundation back together right now. I do see this person wants to collaborate with you, though. So if you're worried, you know, this person, there's still a willingness if you come in right to talk to you. Wally says yes. Let's see how they're currently feeling about you. How is this feminine currently feeling about the masculine? One, four, three on the timer, which... <clears throat> there's a reason I looked at the timer at 143 I was saying how do they feel about you how do they feel about you 143 I love you I love you they love you counterparts have an unconditional love for each other so how are they currently feeling about you you guys are mirroring they do feel rejected by you and I feel, I said it in the first part, that that's something they're looking at right now, is working on how to heal that rejection wound within themselves. This is someone who misses you too. You guys could have used to go on walks together. Um, we also have the star, same. Same energy as you. You know, feeling linked to you, feeling like you're divinely guided to you, to each other. Um, your person feels spiritually connected to you. And your person still has hope for this. They're still, they still hope you'll reach out to them. We have the devil. And to me, that shows me that this person does think about you a lot. And they maybe they felt like they had a codependent atta little attachment with you in the past. <clears throat> I want to see... <clears throat> Somebody has to say something because I want my throat back. <laughs> if you don't know, masculines, when something is unspoken or there's something deep inside of you that you need to express, you may experience like a sore throat or like you're clearing your throat all the time. It's very symbolic of communication um, and speaking your truth. So if you have like a sore throat and you're not sick, what do you need to communicate? Um, so I want to look at what their intuition is telling them about this connection. I feel like your feminine is very tapped into their intuition. So let's see. What does their intuition tell them about you? Crush. <gasps> the Emperor. <laughs> I told you. Your feminine is tapped in, and for some of you, I just heard <laughs> your lady is tapped in. <laughs> and I don't. <gasps> We've got the Empress. Your feminine is awoken, awaken, whatever. Your feminine is tapped in. I told you, you're dealing with a high priestess. Your feminine intuitively knows you're their person. It doesn't matter. I hate to say it. It doesn't matter what you've done. If you can heal and you can take accountability and you can grow and you can heal cycles, this person is open to you. We've got the emperor and the empress. Like, I am just in shock right now. I am in freaking shock right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
please talk to them. <laughs> um, your person knows exactly what is going on here. And you know what? If you're having an having awakenings and starting to realize this and starting to watch tarot, it's because you're in, with one tapped in feminine. Beautiful. So if you think this person doesn't unconditionally love you, they do. Their intuition knows exactly, their intuition tells them exactly what this is. And I feel like they listen to that intuition. That's amazing. If you don't know much about tarot, that is amazing. That's counterparts right there. So they know you're their emperor. They know you're their masculine. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. <laughs> anyway, let's see what their ego is telling them about you. What is the feminine's ego telling them about you? That you don't love them. That you don't appreciate their love. That's what their that's what their ego is telling them. Four of Cups. Their ego's like, nope, that person doesn't appreciate you or your Empress energy or the three cups you have to give. <laughs> it's funny how I was like. Um, their intuition has sass, I guess. Their intuition tells them that person didn't appreciate me. Nope, not their intuition. Their ego tells them that person won't. That's interesting. I just feel like I tapped into past energy there because I said their intuition tells them you don't appreciate them. And I think that was the truth. But right now their ego is telling them that they don't appreciate you. Their ego is telling them you're too good for that person. Don't let that scare you. Your person's tapped into their intuition. So I see this ego thought where they feel like maybe you're not good enough or you don't have enough to offer them, or whatever it is. Um, it's lack of appreciation. So their ego is trying to tell them, no, that person will never appreciate you for the beauty you are. Um, and I do feel like your person has learned how to listen to their intuition. Knight of Coins. Ten of Swords. Their ego um, could say things like, you know, that person's too immature. They'll never change. Um, those are just egoic thoughts, you know. Let's see what your feminine wants you to do. What does the feminine want you to do? Queen of Cups. This is about, first of all, following your, your feminine wants you to follow your intuition. Your feminine wants you to be able to give love and fill up their cup just as much as they fill up yours. Um, I did talk about an imbalance. So it could have been that your feminine was overgiving and you were detaching while that was going on or resisting or it's, it's normal in connections like these. And what your person wants here, what they want you to do is match their energy. They want you to give to them, give and receive, just like they give, They have learned how to give and receive. There's also an energy that this person wants you to learn how to love yourself, because that's Queen of Cups energy. Um, your person wants, what do they want? They want justice. They want, they want reconnection with you after an ending. They want you to take accountability. They want you to make the adjustments and compromises that you need to make. And it's not one-sided. They're doing a lot of work here as well. I'm going to ask Spirit what you should be doing right now, what you should be working on when it comes to this connection energetically. What can you be working on? Three of Cups, how you give and receive love. The energetic flow of love. Um, when this is that unbalanced energy again, when one person in a, in a connection of two people, if one person is giving two cups of love and the other isn't, and the other is giving one, it becomes unbalanced. It's not going to flow. There needs to be a flow of energy. There needs to be reciprocal energy. So the universe or spirit guides, whatever, want you to look at that. How do you give and receive love? It's coming through very clearly here. 
This is also about communication. You know, maybe even just, you know, connecting with them socially if you're feeling called to do so. Three of Cups. Um, four of Wands is on the bottom. And Four of Wands, the universe wants you to know that's your counterpart. Four of Wands energy. Um, your, your guides want you to know that this is your person. And your person already knows this, Emperor, Empress energy. And I think you're just starting to wake up to it. King of Wands, taking action in your love life. Having the confidence to go after that Queen of Wands. Having the confidence to take control of your love life. Going after, you know, your heart's desire here. Um, that's the Twin Flame card right there, Four of Wands. But yes, you need, you need to work on your foundation, is what I'm hearing with the Four of Wands, your stability. Perhaps you do have a fear of commitment. Perhaps you need to look at why that is. What did you see or what did you, what are the fears that you have that stop you from wanting to commit to someone? Um, and also giving and receiving love, balancing that flow. I'm also seeing, as far as King of Wands, what you need to work on. Um, with the King of Wands in the shadowy aspect, there is an energy of maybe you need to work on how you control things or try and control things. Maybe you do have an ego that, you know, you react from in one, four, three again. Um, maybe you have been more focused on things in your own life and haven't given this person the love and the attention that they deserve. Um, that's beautiful. All right. What action should you take towards your feminine? What action? I'm hearing some... I'm hearing some interesting things. <laughs> so it came out earlier, Five of Swords, and we have the Page of Coins and the World. So for actions, there is an apology here. Spirit's saying, you know, there needs to be some type of closure here. There needs to be some type of offer or an apology or even you just reaching out to this person saying, you know, you know, when I, you know, when I yelled at you or, you know, when I pushed you away, I was doing that from a hurt place. I was doing that from a place of ego. You know, your advice here, five of swords, it actually came out in reverse. Is about taking accountability for some of those behaviors, recognizing those cycles. Why did you sabotage this? Why? There's a lesson there. Why did you push it away? What's the lesson there? That's what you need to learn. And this shows closing the distance, uh, making adjustments. So my advice, that's my advice to you, my friend. Um, no more running, I just heard. No more running. Let me just get a couple more for you. We'll just see if spirit wants. Well, let's get for you. What? Let's see what will happen if you reach out. What will happen if you reach out? Hmm, I thought one wanted to come out, but it didn't. Interesting, I stopped on the King of Cups, so you could be thinking about, you know, sharing that cup of love, Queen of Cups, matching their energy. Mm hmm okay. We have the Six of Wands. That's a happy card, my friend. That's your person feeling elated, loved, seen. And if you're going in with balanced energy, of course, because you're, it looks like you're making them feel very loved and seen. That's joy, you know? I see joy and anxiety. <laughs> Inside out could be symbolic. Um, the movie. I'm seeing this person full of joy. And full of anxiety at the same time. And six, nine counterpart numbers. So, of course, they'll feel elated to hear from you. But it's also going to cause some worry. Because they're going to worry, can they trust you? Do you mean what you're saying? Have you healed? 
But temperance shows when you come in, this person is going to be that nine of swords energy they've been feeling worrying. Like I do think they think about you is going to just drop like that. They're going to feel balanced. They're going to feel especially divine feminine. They're going to be like, I knew I was patient for a reason. I was waiting for this change. Very nice, very stable energy. And let's just look at the outcome of this connection. What is the future outcome of this connection, please, Spirit? We have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Coins. Beautiful. Ace of Swords, breakthrough moment. Engagement. If you like it, you better put a ring on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Ace of Swords shows a breakthrough moment, a new chapter. It does symbolize um, engagement. Clear communication, passion, Ace of Wands, new beginnings for the two of you are available. And we have the Page of Swords. So that's forward movement, that's communication, that's learning about each other. And Queen of Coins is long-term stability. And she's, oh my gosh, I think that's interesting because I feel like your person is very confident. It's interesting because it's really tying in with the reading I did for the feminines earlier. And I just want to say, if you feel like this confident feminine won't accept your offer, I think I think she will. This is one of the only Queen of Coins cards I know of where that hand is open. Most of them, their eyes are closed or they're like, they're holding their pentacle really close to them. Um, so there is this knowing. Your feminine knows you're their person. Anyway. I think that's beautiful. So I just want to get really quickly animal cards for you. Nightingale, oh my gosh, my friend. Nightingale, you're feeling inspired to speak up. You're feeling inspired to communicate with them. It's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. So let's see what energy you're in. We have the owl. You're so full of wisdom. So there's a lot of air energy. So you're definitely thinking right now, thinking about communication. Lots of air energy. My heart pounded as soon as I said communication to him. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um, the owl watching. Right now you're watching your person trying to figure out what move to make. Um, this is also, you know about your own spiritual wisdom, your own growth here. I do see you as someone kind of holding back, watching them. Um, the otter, you know, you're looking at them. That person is my joy and contentment, but there's fear there. And the otter can also push things away. So that's interesting. Um, let's see what energy your feminine is in. Well, I can't ignore that. Oh my gosh. I am grateful for this beautiful day. That's your affirmation. So, your person is going through a lot. I see a feminine who's kind of, you know, going through, is this real? Am I delusional? Am I imagining things? The lamb. There's an energy that your person is feeling cautious about this. With the lamb, there's a level of, was I naive to believe in this person? I have to say, your person's energy is powerful, which is why you're starting to awaken. It's probably why you're watching this video. Um, let me know if there's any masculines here and I'll make more. Your person's energy almost shocked me. Um, <clears throat> you've got the unicorn. So you, you're dealing with someone very magical, very tapped into their magic and their intuition. Um, you're dealing with someone who's transformed since you met them the butterfly and we've got the peacock someone stepping into their power their divinity um feeling very confident very confident perhaps this person wasn't confident when you first met them but they are now it's very powerful energy and of course intimidating for you i just have to say it i would be intimidated to approach someone in peacock butterfly and unicorn energy it's no wonder you're coming in as that little otter it's no wonder. 
You're magical too. This will be the last part. I'm just gonna get a few moon cards for you for advice. Look at the bigger picture. I feel like that's what you're already doing. So for my masculines, what advice do you need? Where? Your commitment is being tested. So if you are, you may be trying to not give in to this connection. That's a test right there. What do you need to release? What do you need to look at within yourself? What do you need to release? Who do you need to release? What behaviors do you need to release? What patterns? What thought processes? Um, Five of Swords energy, there's definitely something here you need to work on as well. We have work through your fears. And like I said, if I was looking at a unicorn, butterfly, peacock creature, I'd be terrified too. <laughs> work through your fears. Don't be afraid. And you know what? There's no... It's not weak to work on yourself or to heal or to take accountability or to grovel. <laughs> not that I'm saying to grovel. But if your fear... Like, if you're afraid of rejection, work through that fear. If your fear this fearful this person doesn't love you work through that fear because they do and we have a time to give rather than to take which is all about filling up that cup of somebody else um, your advice is to learn how to give to this person rather than just take from them lots about balancing give and take and reciprocity <clears throat> let's get one more and then I'll let you go oh wow a, a romantic cycle begins. Balance spirituality and practicality. So don't, you know, sometimes when people dive into spirituality, they end up drowning and they like lose their logical sense. So there is an energy to look at this spiritually and logically. Um, don't just look at it, you know, logically either. Don't just look at it practically. It has to be a balance. Um... It has to be a balance. It has to make sense. Anyway, so that's your reading. I hope it resonated for someone, and thank you for watching. If you're watching my tarot readings on TikTok, they may be long. It's just who I am. Um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to come back and do another one, so I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye!